I would now like to ask Andrea Kilabranda to give the valedictory address. Chancellor Wiener, President and Vice Chancellor Carr, Chair Antonio, Dr. Cormier, friends, family, and most importantly, fellow graduates. I'm equally honored and humbled to be standing here with you today. What seems like a lifetime ago, we took our very first steps into the MB building, some full of excitement and passion, others with angst and worry, but all looking forward to what the next few years had in store for us. The endless possibilities filled classrooms with an intoxicating eagerness, an eagerness to learn, to connect, make friends, and to grow. Endless nights grinding for exams in the library, dancing and laughing at Reggie's, and stumbling back into classrooms the next morning, frankly in better or worse shape, through the seemingly always broken front door. <laughs> it was truly a collective experience, one along many dimensions, and one I am deeply grateful for. It is one thing to be part of a family unit, a close group of friends, a community organization, and another, to be tossed in a pool of hundreds of complete strangers and still be able to support one another, make friends through awkward initial stages, and help those around us grow. Many of us were involved in the uniquely beautiful ecosystem of associations at JMSB, devoting time to the collective successes of our peers, our friends, and ourselves. We created a real community one I will cherish forever. The whole process was also immensely challenging. Endless hours of hard work, managing teams, learning from peers, maintaining excellence in classes, while also facing personal and global hardships. A global pandemic, economic crises, a spotlight on inexcusable and unexplainable inequalities and injustices, and the threat of climate degradation always looming. Being away from friends and family while managing both personal and academic workloads was not a unique experience. As the graduating class of 2022, we lived through an extremely trying time, facing adversity every step of the way. And yet, we made it. We made it individually but the individual is inextricably linked with the whole. And I believe the whole was the bolstering ship that pushed us to a brighter shore and gave us the wisdom to understand the true, fundamental, unwavering power of connectedness. These past four years showed me that the human spirit is uniquely resilient and that we are all capable of achieving success beyond our wildest dreams. Let this grit continue to guide you and be a force for good. Greatness can be born out of hardship. And when we walked across the stage today, it was. As business students, we claim a special place in society. We have the ability to move capital, influence behavior, and enact real change in the messy, complicated, and often incredibly difficult world. In many ways, the flaws of capitalism are growing more apparent. But as a new generation of business graduates, we have the chance to change the system from within through a capacity to envision what change means, why it matters, and why it is so deeply and pressingly necessary. I wholeheartedly believe, and I have seen, the undeniable promise in this incredible group of young people to create a better world come what may. As you journey out into the world, diploma in hand, think about how you can be a force for collective change, not to pay lip service, to perform or purchase the right things, but to interrogate, as we have been taught here, what is presented and sold as commonplace and obvious, 
to trust yourself, to push back when something feels wrong, and have the humility to accept being wrong, and to collaborate both with those who agree with you and those who strongly disagree. The next generation of leaders sitting in those seats have the ability to inspire, motivate change, instill values of love, connection, and empathy in your travels. I invite you to place equal focus on both the large and small impacts you can have on those around you. Be the person who influences large, systematic change, but also the person who always holds the door, smiles at the custodian, and asks the taxi driver how their day is going. As you defi define success for yourself, look beyond your own individual impact. Create a multiplier effect. We are individuals meaningless without our ecosystem. Go out into the world, instill real change, and together we can create a sustainable, equitable, and just world that we can all be proud of. It won't happen instantly, and it certainly will never happen linearly, but the point is to always be moving forward. Thank you very much, and congratulations once again. Andrea, thank you for your beautiful remarks. I can assure you that we are a force, we are a strong community, and we will continue to always move forward. Thank you very much.